Brad Garlow here with Syngenta Canada. I'm an agronomist covering the territories of Wellington, Waterloo, Gray and Bruce County. This morning we're in Wellington County here doing some corn estimate yields. So how do you estimate yield in corn and I guess why do we estimate yield in corn? Uh, in the last week or so I've had a lot of customers call and ask to come out and help me or help them, sorry, uh, estimate the corn yields. Some are livestock farmers, they're looking uh, to make sure they've got enough feed in the field to feed their livestock, potentially might have to go buy some. We've, uh, we've had cash crop growers who have contracts, prices are higher right now and they're looking to maybe take advantage of it, make sure there's the grain in the field. And another good option is uh, if your mother-in-law is coming over for a barbecue in the next couple weeks, it's a good reason to get out in the field and look at, uh, look at the yield, estimate the yield. So calculating yield in the field. What's the calculation? It's the number of kernels long by the number of kernels around. And another cool thing to keep in mind is you'll always come up with an even number when you go when you go around. So if you come back with 17 or 15, count again, there should be 16 or 18. Um, so you go from there, and then you need the number of cobs in the field. So that starts with, on a 30 inch row corn planter, uh, 17 and a half feet gives you one thousandth of an acre. So count that out. Add three zeros, that's your population. And then what you need to do is because of the variability in the field this year especially, um, we need to give percentages to the high yielding areas, the low yielding areas, and the average yielding areas. So for this field in here, I've given 10% as this high averaging, high yield average, 60% for this average cob here, and 30% for the, for the lower yielding area. So you figure out the yields for all those areas then you give them a percentage of what you expect the field looks like based on what you're seeing on that 17 and a half foot row or one one thousandth of an acre. And, uh, and you, compute your, you compute your average yield for the whole field using those numbers. So you multiply, multiply them by the percentage that you put beside them. So for this field, 198 bushels for the high yield, 10% of the field. 155 for the average, and that's 60% of the field I'm estimating. And 128 bushels for the low end. And that's 30% uh, of the field I'm estimating. Overall, that all averages out to right around 151 bushels. So good luck, get out in your fields and start taking a look. And from what I've seen, things do look a lot better out there. From the roadside, it does look bad, but you get in those fields and uh, there is more yield out there from, from what I've been seeing.